Welcome back everyone to part two of your ID3 algorithm tutorial. This is going to discuss the base cases. So these are the cases where we've reached the end and we need to stop the recursion and just go back up to the next node. There are three base cases for the ID3 algorithm. The first base case is when we get down to the very end of it and every single person or thing, whatever we're predicting on, has the same target feature value, that is going to be the leaf node value. So imagine we have a bunch of people and we start building our decision tree and we split the data and then we split the data again and all three of these people have the same target feature value. Let's say they all have diabetes. Well, then we make that a leaf node that would be diabetes. And then we return. The second base case is if we get down to the point where we're out of descriptive features. So if you remember in the previous video, every time we split on a descriptive feature, we would remove it from the available descriptive features list. Well, what happens if we split our data and we split it again and keep doing that and we eventually end up with, let's say, three people and let's say two of them have diabetes and the third one doesn't. Well, now it's not so easy. We can't just say, oh, everyone in this group has diabetes. So in this case, it's going to go with the majority. So 66% of the people in this group have diabetes. And we can't split our data anymore to separate these two like that. It's not possible because we're out of descriptive features. We don't have any more data to differentiate these people. So you can kind of consider these three people as identical in our data set. They have all the same descriptive feature values, but different target feature values. These two might have diabetes and this one may not. So in that situation, we do the same thing, but we go with the majority. So we would say, if you're in this group, you're more than likely going to have diabetes. So let's write that out. We can make an if statement, and this is going to be inside of the function that we call. So if all instances have the same target feature value, we're going to make a leaf node with that value. The other base case is a little different, but very similar. Else if we run out of descriptive features to split on, we are going to make the leaf node with the majority. So hopefully this is nice and clear for you guys. Really simple. If all the instances have the same target feature value, they all have diabetes or they all do not have diabetes, we're going to make the leaf node with that value, whatever it may be. If we are out of descriptive features to split our data on and we end up with a group with some people having diabetes and some people not having diabetes, we take the majority target feature value. So when we're making a tree, this case up here can actually make a shorter tree. And that's one of the goals of the ID3 algorithm. Essentially, when we get to the situation where everybody has the same target feature value, it's going to return, which that's another thing I need to put in here. You need to return, which is going to end that function call. So if we get down to age somewhere in our group and we split, and we still have, you know, three or four descriptive features we could split on, but everyone so far already has the same target feature value, it's just gonna end and go to a solution such as diabetes. So it's optimized to make the shallowest tree as possible, which obviously is going to make things better, more efficient, and just good. Now there is a third case, so we need an else if again. But uh, this one, unfortunately, is a little bit more complicated. And I know I said this was going to be a two-part video series on the ID3, but I changed my mind because I think this could use a video of its own as this can get pretty confusing pretty quickly. And this video is already very deep and very brain demanding. What we have so far basically sums up the ID3 algorithm. There's just one case that we haven't covered. And to figure that out, I want you guys to go check out the next video. So please be sure to subscribe because I got lots of new video ideas coming up and I would just love to have you part of this channel. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.